A servant of God, I am Robert Simon, beloved in Christ, loving greetings. In my earlier talks with you, I was showing you the sustainable faith of Noah for more than 120 long years and the staggering faith of Abraham even for a period of 24 years. Before our patriarch Abraham turned 75, God started moving in the life of Abraham. That we read in Hebrew chapter 11 verse 8. By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing whither he went. God testifies unto Abraham's faith, and it pleased God. But in the next 24 years of Abraham's life journey, he was staggering between faith and his own reasoning. Now he is 99, when God promised Abraham about Isaac through Sarah his wife. In the book of Genesis chapter 17, verses 17 and 18, we read, Abraham laughed and said unto God, Oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. Abraham was not really ready to buy God's promise yet another time. Abraham was staggering in his faith and acting on his own reasonings. Then what happened? In chapters 18, 19 and 20 of Genesis, we read other subplots in Abraham's life story. In chapter 21, verses 1 and 2, we read, the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did to Sarah as he had promised. And Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age, at the time of which God had spoken to him. Here we see, faith again started its operation in Abraham's life and also as well in Sarah's life. But please note, that Isaac was not a miracle child. He was born as a normal child and as promised according to the time of life. What does it mean according to the time of life? In Tamil we read, Oru Urpati Kala Triptatil Normal time of conception. The child is very normal. But the miracle is Sarah conceiving a child. The miracle is Sarah conceiving a child, not the birth of Isaac. How did it happen? A very detailed, vivid, fascinating, soul-staring soul account of faith power is given in Romans 4, 17-25. A very powerful passage. We shall have an exegetical exposition of that passage, God willing, in my next talk with you. Till then, God bless you, God be with you. I am yours, Robert Simon.